Welcome to the Beyond Bitcoin Welcome. Be sure to follow the Beyond Bitcoin tag on Steam it, as well as our Hangout host official Fuzzy for the latest World Tank updates. To participate in the discussion, simply find a weekly World Tank RSVP post and RSVP with a topic or proposal in the comments. Whale shares create synergy between bit shares and Steam, by rewarding developers and helpful community members. The well tank has already distributed over $70,000 in upvotes during its first month. You can also create and trade your own cryptographically secure whale tokens and get an automatic seat in the whale council. Whale shares work for the chain based on votes by the community. If you're interested in becoming a founding member of the Whale Council, let us know by sending an email to beyondbitcoin at gmail.com with the subject Whale Council. Be on the lookout for our new forums coming soon. Today, the order of precedence that has been established by the RSVP upvotes is Chief Master Paul, who's going to be talking about Steam Music League. Nep D is going to be talking about hair shares. Sir Lunch, the host, is going to be talking about his vlog and his, I'm sure, somewhat misadventures. Bam Bam 808 is going to be talking about Get Smoked Radio. And we're going to cap it off with Kron from Bali Evacuate Charity. So with that said, I'll go ahead and I'll step back and say, Chief, go ahead and step up, man. Hey, everybody. How's everybody going? It's been a little bit, but I'm here to talk about uh, the Steam It Music League. Um, it's been going. We've had over 30 different Steamians be a part of it. Um, it's two different challenges right now. Uh, the Steam, Steam It Music League challenge is in its fifth week. It's more of open music and it's based off a of universal theme every week. And then we have the Beat Battle League, um, which is more for producers and making beats every week. Um, we're coming up with two different editions. Um, we have a new vocals challenge with uh, Savu from the Netherlands we're working on. And hopefully he'll be coming on uh, later in the after the hangout um, or next week to talk more about that and then we also are creating a producer form where we're regrouping all the people that produce music and also have vocals and want to help create music with each other into a forum um, that's going to be exactly 432 would be ideal uh, eventually for all songs um, but it, it's going to be in discord it's, it's in it right now Sevu uh, started it um, we have a good, good group of people so far um, but yeah, basically what we're doing right now is all these challenges, so that'll be three challenges total uh, in here in the next week, all their points feed into a leaderboard, uh, the Steemic Music League leaderboard. So you get points for uh, participating each week, uh, depending on where you place, um, and also if you help out, create art for the community and such. Um, so it seems like it's a pretty good way to retain members. Um, so that's one thing that I've noticed about Steam is uh, the retention problem, and it seems like uh, a lot of this, these challenges and communities that we're building, especially in the music, are keeping people coming back every week, and not only um, creating it, but commenting and giving feedback to other people's. Um, so that's one thing I'm working on is increasing uh, some delegation. Uh, I've been doing it myself, just you know, giving 10 Steam, 20 Steam uh, for Mino Booster, and I just try to uh, upvote comments on people's uh, on the posts that are the different. You know, music that are created for the leagues and encouraging, um, you know, communication between the, everybody and giving feedback. Um, we're working on releasing the points, uh, cryptocurrency here, once we get everything going, um, fine tuned, you could say. And then, um, yeah, so basically we'll have three competitions coming and we're looking for other competitions. We know um, people such, such as Termite Music, they have the M MC Challenge. But basically, anybody in the music community, we're trying to bring them together. Um, so that everybody can come together and help each other to the top. But uh, I just want to let some questions go, um, if anybody has any questions. So we have um, like rules set for, for the tuning frequency then, or how, how is it done? Oh no, that's just a project eventually, because the 432 that has nothing to do with anything now. This is, we're just joking around with that. 432 is obviously for good frequency, um, because the elites changed the frequency of the music back in the day to make people more docile. Uh, the 432 is more natural. Uh, Hertz it gives more positive vibes and not the negative vibes. So eventually, you would, we would, I mean, someone's got to try to encourage all these artists to put the music to 432 Hertz. Um, but that's what I was talking about with that. All right. Count on me. You're ever going to go at with that? <clears throat> but uh, it's believed that the frequency and the Hertz of a song or whatever you're listening to the vibration actually can be beneficial to you or harmful to you so that's yeah that's kind of a cool thing 
Yeah, and that's why I try to choose uh, for the universal themes, positive themes, um, just because that's the kind of music and frequencies that I, you know we kind of like to put out in the world. And it seems like most of the producers and the artists on here are, are aware of that of the 432 and um, so I guess there's one thing that steam and other things can do is kind of bring awareness to these good projects of music um, so so you are continuing to do these music league challenges what are some of the can you link the most recent posts to uh, the people who are here so they can check them out sure give me one second Yeah, the the Steaming Music League last week had, I think, 10 entries, um, and then the Beat Battle League had 8. Um, but let me grab them real quick in one second. And I would urge everybody who comes to these Hangouts, whenever you have things that you're doing, there are some people who like to post in the links. Um, I think it's a very valuable thing to do so, so people can actually see the links to where you're going and, and what you're doing. This helps us to also all of us to to see what people are doing so um i've seen um uh, the music league before and it was pretty impressive uh, i didn't have time to check it all out because there's so much <clears throat> going on but uh it looked pretty good there you go and then um i try to give a lot of feedback on the posts so every post uh they get a comment from me and then every week when we do the results each person that uh, participates gets uh, a pretty extensive feedback um, we have judges, um, you know, from in the music industry and all over the world. So that also helps to keep the um, opinions uh, objective and bias and unbiased. So, and then the one thing we did introduce a few weeks ago is the community favorite. So it's um, we pay out the top four people, and then the community favorite is uh, ten SBD given to the person who make, gets the most comments, upvotes, and support on their posts. Um, so that's one thing that I've been noticing as the community is becoming involved and in helping these people uh, get extra money. And um, that's really kind of one extra benefit we're providing. This is really uh, some high quality stuff that these people create, man. It's, uh, it's kind of stunning to see how much talent is on here. And then they're already posting to other places for basically, um, you know, breadcrumbs and these are the people who are are bringing uh to life these platforms so i think that this is definitely one of the things that i support i have to see i have to say that whenever you're putting these people together this is something that i think is a very valuable service and it's something also that people can't get um confused about you know what i mean they see what you're doing and they see the value proposition to it now, how do you want to connect points to this? How do you think that that's valuable? So right now, um, you have the points leaderboard. Um, so the top three each month of the leaderboard have the option to redeem those points for the points that are on the, the, the exchange right now. Um, last month, the top three, they, they didn't want to do it because if you do redeem your points, your score goes back to zero. Um, because if you win the Beat Battle League, you, we have a, a championship belt you're going to win. And if you win the Steam It Music League Challenge, um, we got seven days um, in Vegas for you. So people kind of want to do that. So we, as they have the option to redeem these points every month if you're in the top three. And then at the end of, this, of the first season, um, the top ten are going to be able to <laughs> redeem those points for actual points. Um, and that would be January 2nd of uh, 2018. So I wondered, um, with Sir Lunch, uh, maybe he wanted to have a studio uh, w with you guys as well, or I mean, like do some recordings, hang out, and do stuff. I think I think it would be awesome because eventually uh, I would like to uh, YouTube or live stream the judges listening to the music live. So maybe if one of the judges is over here in the studio listening to the music, we can see their reactions live. Um, we were just kind of building up to that, but some, something like that would be awesome. So say Sir Launch was in his studio listening to the music, he could do a YouTube video of him listening to the different entries and just giving feedback right then instead of writing a whole post. Um, but that's just ideas, you know, I'm really what it's working towards. Yeah, it sounds really awesome, uh, especially the live stream. I think it's a very good idea. Uh, like... Sorry, I don't have uh, much time though, but... Um... It, it's something which really itches to to be uh, exporting because 
uh, some years ago, I was very active in, in making my own music, and I, I know it's a lot of work. And if you can live stream, uh, maybe that's a, a good start because it's so new. You know, it's like live television or something, and everybody can do it. Exactly, and uh, one thing I've noticed is um, off steam it. Just uh, when people ask, you know, what, what new projects I'm working on, the one thing I talk to them about is the Beat Battle League and the Steam Music League Challenge. And they're really blown away that people all over the world are creating this high quality content every week and we're judging it. And it's on a social media platform. Um, so, there's, like Fuzzy said, there's not too many other places you can do this in. Um, and Steam, it's an, an awesome opportunity for this, all these people to come together and, you know, get feedback, get recognition for being the top winner. And because these people are really high quality. So, if you become the first, uh, you number one or number two, that tells you something that you're doing some good work. Um, so it's definitely something to help grow Steemit uh, in retention and also new users as well. I bet. Well, I'll say this, and it's going to be unpopular, but regardless of what happens with BP or Exxon, I'm rather, or any of these other things, I will say just the fact that people are working and putting things together and you're doing what you're doing with the community on these posts does show me that there's a lot of value that's coming from this. And I don't see any way of denying that. Um, I, I won't say that everything works out that you necessarily do all the time, but who can say that they do, that it does work. Um, so um, I'll say this. Good job, man. I like it. I like the Steam Music League. I like the fact that you're producing high, high quality stuff with these people. Same here. Thank you. Pre pre really appreciate that. Thank you. And it's a great post, man. Like, I'm actually jealous of some of these images. Like, I want some of these images for Beyond Bitcoin. It's <laughs> like... Hey, come on, I'm busy. <laughs> This man, these people are good. I was more disappointed. One of their favorite weeks was the week to be on Bitcoin, uh, and then one of the weeks we did was last week was space elevator music, and that was just a new theme, like play, make something that you would want to hear in space if you were in a space elevator. And the amount of entries we got are incredible, and artwork. So um, it's really incredible what all, everybody can do, and they get to come and steam it and share it with everybody. It's awesome. Would I be able to give Beyond Bits to those people and support them? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's um, yeah, absolutely. We can. I can get a nice little list for you and send it to you. Thank you. So, uh, how do they? Does anybody else have anything that they'd like to bring up? I just wanted to ask, uh, how do they send in the entries, like via mail or or their own post? Uh, right now they're doing their own post. Um, from some of them are using uh, D Sound. Uh, SoundCloud and then YouTube, but yeah, it's just basically a, a very easy submission, and that's why one of the guys instrumental, the judge, he's in the music industry, and he says that he's talking to a lot of A and R's at these record labels, and something like this saves them a lot of time and effort because they get all this high quality music in one place, and it's a very easy. Um, you just have to use the tag and look up the tag, and you can see it pretty easily. And I try to resteam all of them as well. So exactly, and the crib's been. Donate, uh, donating from uh, the Steam Music League since week two. And then uh, JP has been donating whale shares for the Beat Battle League since the first week, all the way 10 weeks ago. So he, so yeah, whale shares been around for you know the beginning of this for a while. I'm gonna provide an image here, Link. You even have your own little uh, spreadsheet that you put in sound quality, technicality, creativity. These are things that I don't do. Appreciate that. And I just want to, it kind of shows the transparency of it, but it just shows you how serious we take it. Uh, I, me personally, I spend a lot of time every week doing this, uh, reviewing all the entries. And also, I know the other judges do as well. But it's really just because it gives them the most feedback. And that's, you know, like we can give these artists and these producers feedback that just requires time and effort. So I appreciate it. Is this a shared is this a shared document like a Google Doc or something that you guys have? Um no, it's just a spreadsheet I make every week and I send out to the judges and then they send it to me and then I make an updated one. Um and it shows with all of their Yep. Yeah. We really need a wiki uh, for this kind of stuff or something. Or maybe GitHub, but uh, it, it maybe sound 
difficult to use, but it is not actually. Uh, that's an, and yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is and also another thing we're looking at is um, we have a lot of entries over the weeks, so we have you know probably 60, 70, even more. Um, so we kind of want to create an archive on the website or some how we can do it with the blockchain. So that's one thing we're trying to yeah like get up for the future. Um, it's for, so everybody can listen to all this music uh, every, really easily. Maybe you can like um, restream them on SoundCloud. I, I know that's possible. Make a channel on, uh, on SoundCloud. That's a great idea. And I, I'm also kind of been waiting for D Sound because D Sound is awesome because it's decentralized. But sometimes when you upload it and play it, there's still some feedback issues. So I guess you're right. We might as well just get on SoundCloud right away instead of uh, waiting. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Uh, like I'm on a Mac because most artists are, and you know, it, if it doesn't work on Safari, then it's like I'm I'm not using it. But uh, most things are not working on Safari, so that's just maybe my problem as well. But, uh, any other questions from anybody? And when are you going to submit an entry, Nutella? Um, I have my picture on SoundCloud, and <laughs> I don't want to be like known. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, this is that point in time where you can uh, get your uh, you can get the share drop list and share drop on people uh, if you want extra time. If you don't want extra time, you're more than welcome to end it with just letting people know how they can reach out to you. Yeah, for this for this one, I'm by myself. I'm just gonna keep. I'm, I'm good for now. But I think next time when we have Cebu, I'm gonna do that. Um, but just for the Discord right now, you can re reach out to me, Chief Mapster. And then um, in the comments, I'll do the, this new producers forum um, that we have going. Uh, but I appreciate the time and appreciate everybody's uh, time and effort. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you for the people who join to these Hangouts. Just really quick, want to make sure that everybody gets the plug that I always like to give you, uh, which is to support the things that you see that you resonate with. And also, of course, keep in the back of your mind how you don't always have to have money to support things. Uh, so your time and your effort and your own unique skills can be very valuable for a project too. And if you think about it and you try to work with some of the people who have tokens to create value for those tokens, or you create your own value proposition for tokens, you can fund a lot of cool stuff, uh, especially if you take a long-term view as opposed to a short-term view and try to actually build value into these tokens. Uh, that starts with a foundation of trust, and that's why we're here. So I appreciate everybody joining up and being part of all this. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to another uh team of people who have a pretty cool project called the Hair Shares Project, and that's NEPD. Uh, so obviously I am not the expert of Hair Shares, and a lot has gone on since. Uh, it's been a, a quite a while since we've heard updates from you, NEP. So I'm very interested to hear what updates you might have. Yeah, Fuzzy, thank you for uh, having me on again here tonight to uh, give you guys a little update uh, on the Hair Shares Project. Uh, we have had a last uh, two or three months here. Um, since we've started, we've uh, been instrumental in getting six hair donations um, on Steemit uh, that have been documented. Uh, in my mind, anyway, I'm hoping that we have, um, you know, influenced some others to to donate their hair as well. Uh, I know there's a lot of people like my wife uh, who, you know, aren't all about the spotlight and sharing what they share. Um, uh, online and, and, and wanting recognition and rewards for that. Uh, so I'm hoping that some people have, have taken the initiative and, uh, and done those donations uh, by themselves. Uh, for those of you who uh, you know, have not heard of the Hair Share Project before, um, it was started by Fuzzy and myself a while ago, uh, dedicated to my, uh, to my wife's late mother-in-law who died of cancer about 15 years ago. Um, last couple years of her life, she she wore a wig uh, that was instrumental in helping her uh, keep her dignity and you know enjoying those last couple years of her life. 
uh, and we want to be able to offer that to uh, anybody going through similar circumstances. Uh, so that's something that um, you know is near and dear to my heart, uh, and I was uh, gracious for the opportunity from Fuzzy to uh, go ahead and uh, lead up this project. Over the the last couple of months, we've been toying with a, a few different ideas uh, to uh, help reward and help motivate people to uh, donate their hair or to convince loved ones uh, that are able and willing to donate their hair as well. Uh, one thing that we've had probably the most uh, traction with is the the hair shares jackpot, a progressive jackpot, uh, where we give out some of our hair shares tokens, um, and we've given out a lot of other tokens as well that people have donated. Uh, Acrid donates. 100 whale shares every time we we reset the jackpot um we've had um robin hut has has donated lfn coin before um patalincho and, and jp used to donate whale shares when they were around um we've had a, a lot of uh, small minnows donate um one two steam dollars uh, at a time uh to give out to people as well i, I want to Send a shout out to JJB777, uh, who every time donates a couple couple Steam dollars, uh, says that's what he's able to, to afford. And uh, that's kind of been one of the, the fun things about this uh, project is uh, when I first started out, I, I really thought uh, I'd get a bunch of whales to come in and, and help out, donate some Steam power, uh, donate some tokens, et cetera. And that, that really hasn't happened. Um, but what I have had is I've had a lot of people with very small Steamit accounts uh, donate uh, 100 steam power, uh, delegate 1,000 uh, steam power, uh, donate a, a steam dollar here, a steam dollar there, five whale shares here, five whale shares there uh, to help out. And that's been really see, uh, cool to see uh, some of those uh, small steam accounts uh, join forces and, and help out the community. Um, so that's something that we're always looking for is, you know, more donations, more ideas, um, just to, to, to reward and motivate those people to donate their hair. Uh, you know, six donations over a few months is, is, is nothing. You know, we want to really uh, find a way to reach more people, to motivate more people uh, in order to get that done. So it uh, sounds kind of stupid, but what about Facebook? <laughs> if you like reach out on them, uh, on there, sorry. Yeah, Facebook's an idea. Uh, that's that's a social media that my wife and I have really never um, been on. Uh, I know that sounds kind of weird, <laughs> um, but yeah, Facebook's something that we don't really have a presence on. Um, I, I do have a large presence on on Twitter. Um, that was due to uh, you know a sports job that I I, I once held, um, and I've been looking for ways to kind of in, in incorporate that a little bit um, as well. Okay, so some of the things that I've learned from other people, uh, one of them was maybe have some stickers that you can actually like for hair shares that kind of says like, hey, I donated my hair and I can buy these stickers with, a, with one of the hair shares. Right. That was actually not my idea, but somebody who is really smart, who I've talked to during my time in cryptocurrency, uh, came up with. Another one that I would create, create from that, but it would be kind of like working with what uh, Sir Lunch likes to do, is make shirts for that, hair share, a hair share shirt. So you can get a hair share shirt or a mug for X amount of them. Um, it might be interesting to see if if you could actually do that and get sponsors who would also have their logo in there somewhere. Right, and the, the breaking that uh, that wall into the real world with you know with products um, uh, and, and other partnerships uh, has been a real sticking point. I've, I've tried a, a couple of things and I uh, haven't found a lot of traction. I, the the sticker idea, the teacher idea, those are really uh, I think easily producible things that I think uh, uh, could be possible. Uh, one of the first things I went to is my um, person that, that cuts my hair and has you know has done so for the last thirty years since I was uh, five years old. And you know my my wife has donated her hair there before a couple of times. Uh, I know she she takes donations, 
And, you know, I tried to kind of understand, uh, help her understand what I was trying to do. I'd help get her on board, you know, maybe put up a sticker, um, you know, accept tokens, you know, give her tokens, do something. Um, and she kind of looked at me like I had three heads and, and didn't really understand what was going on. Uh, you know, I, I live in Iowa. It's kind of a cryptocurrency desert out here. Uh, it's about 300 miles to the nearest Bitcoin ATM, if, if that uh, uh, tells you anything. Um, it, it's it's still such a nascent te- technology, I think, for the masses. Um, that, that hair shares ambassadors, for, exam- for example, was something that I had planned on doing very early. Uh, if I had some success uh, talking with some of the hairstylists in my own town, uh, and perhaps some of the, the bigger metropolitan areas are, are ready for that to, to get into um, places that actually, you know, deal with the donated hair um, and, and helping facilitate that. Um, but I think we need a lot more um, education for the masses uh, on what is going on. Uh, you know, the BitShares DEX as an intro uh, to cryptocurrency is, is somewhat of a hurdle, um, as powerful as it is. Um, but I, I do think that's the ultimate goal is, uh, you know, to get uh, those hair share tokens um, and, and break that wall in, into the real world uh, for either purchasing, trading uh, or doing something with uh, actual hair donation locations. I wonder if you could make your own chain with this, if you notice what I was typing down there, because the smoke network is going to do something similar for marijuana dispensaries, but you could have it where you actually get affiliate uh, affiliated barbershops and stuff that uh, they want to be on this app because smoke network is also planning to have it where you can see where all these dispensaries are so it could just replace it with the barber shops that would actually take and uh take hair donations yeah that's a that's a great idea uh you know if that's something that we can uh, get going i think uh, uh giving the the actual barber shops you know a, a value proposition there as well of uh, getting some of that free advertising um you know being seen on these on these apps uh, would definitely be a, a big plus for them. You see, I think that we don't have to like worry about being small so much as like just thinking about that stuff for the future. And I do definitely agree with you, but I will say that the market seems to like, if you've noticed with, with these different tokens out there, anytime that somebody comes up with a novel use case, that's pretty interesting It's almost like the market's like, you know what, I'm going to fund this a little bit. And a lot of people who do that because of something that's touched them and that, you know, everybody's had somebody who's been sick in their family or sick in their life who has dealt with stuff like this. Um, So I think that there there would be a market for these types of things like these could be actually like the new charities that exist, but they wouldn't even be charities because they would be more like networks of people who work together and care about a certain issue. But it would be small at first, as always. Right. And those dang it, Bob. Communities, I I think that is where a lot of the value is. Uh, I've had a lot of people help out. I'm not a coder. Uh, I'm, I'm not a technological wizard by any means. Um, but I, uh, I have been able to find people that, uh, you know, this cause resonates with, uh, and have been willing to, to help me out with certain tasks I need done, uh, in exchange for hair share tokens. And, uh, that's been a, a very, uh, um, a touching experience for me. So has the story of it been pretty, pretty amazing, pretty hard <laughs> Do those both kind of fit the bill. Yeah, I mean it's a you know it's a constant reminder of of sadness in our lives, but you know we um we understand that you know whether or not we like it, you know those those things are going to happen and um if we can do any small part at all in, in helping ease the suffering of others, uh you know that's a uh, the least that we can do. Well, you know, I watched a, a documentary about somebody who was dying from cancer and they went through the entire ordeal and it's like 
that's one of the few things that you know it's not even necessarily that they they want to look in the mirror and and seem like they're you know attractive and that you know their hair is part of that it's not necessarily a vanity thing it's like let me at least feel like i'm if like i can look in the mirror and i'm not sick for a moment you know and that's i think that a lot of us we we've we've all been sick at some point in time where we wanted to to you know pass away or something you know like we're just like god you know take my life from me this is terrible but the thing is whenever it's really happening you you start you see what somebody goes through and and that's man it's like it's not little and and that's why i like i i think that these these possibilities might be out there for this like using these curation network models i mean that's what mutual aid societies essentially that's what steam came from is the mutual aid society right well said um does anybody have any questions for me I just want well, to say, oh, okay. No, you. I'm glad you still you stood up. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that it's an awesome thing that you do, Ned, because I didn't know that I could actually donate my hair before, and you know I did. So that's something that I could help somebody with. Linda, I'm I'm really glad that you you piped up at your right above me in the uh, <laughs> the list of people here. But I didn't even recognize uh, your na your username there. Uh, Linda is, was our first uh, Hair Shares Jackpot winner, um, you know, donated uh, some beautiful hair and uh, really want to thank her publicly. I, I know I've done so quite a bit on Steemit, uh, but uh, Linda, thank you so much for, for your, your very kind donation. Um, you know, really kind of started uh, the ball rolling, I think, with, with some of the, the people that, that followed you. Uh, and that's a, that's a great thing. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. And as I said, it, it, without you, I wouldn't have even done that. So it it is as much your thing than my thing. So thank you. We have about fifty four seconds left. Is there anything that you would like to to tell anybody, uh, or anybody that you'd like to thank uh, in in person? for the help that they've provided you? <laughs> uh, well, there, there's a, a, a ton of people I, I can thank. Um, first of all, Fuzzy, thank you for, uh, um, you know, uh, helping start this off. Uh, I want to thank Acrid for all of his help uh, and donations with, with Whale Shares to help out the project. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Marky Mark um, for a lot of his guidance and uh, and thoughts on some of the more uh, technical things that go with this. Alex P. Morris uh, for his help with Willbot uh, as well. Um, uh, there's just a, a lot of people. Steam Power Picks has been instrumental as well in helping it out. Um, uh, Acrid just prompted me. I, I, I do. I should probably uh, uh, say one thing about some of the new ways to to use the tokens themselves. Uh, we have leased quite a bit of Steam Power. Um, at least for me anyway, um, to, to help reward some of the people that you know, have helped out uh, to use their tokens um, in order to get votes from the Hair Shares project. Uh, you can use um, those tokens uh, for, for upvotes, for re-steams um, from both the, the Hair Shares account and my own personal uh, NEPD account. Um, and if you go to the Hair Shares blog, I, I linked it up uh, top. The uh, um, the second link I have posted in the conference room here, uh, just the options. You know, you can get the the trim. That's one token for a ten percent vote. Uh, the haircut is uh, ten tokens uh, for a hundred percent vote. Haircut in a style. Uh, that's twenty tokens for a hundred percent up vote and a re-steam. Uh, and then the uh, the works. Uh, gets you a 100% upvote from both of my accounts and re-steams from both as well. So um, we thought there were some uh, 
clever names at least for for those and uh, hopefully let the people have a little fun while they're using their tokens. Well, thank you very much for what you're doing. And I do apologize that I don't help you guys enough. I wish that I could help you guys more. Um, and that goes for many of you. Uh, so with that said, I do appreciate what you all do. And I, the thing that I'm learning is the thing that I can do most would be to try to work on getting some tools built that would help people like you guys. So we're in the process. We are in the process. It takes longer than I expect pretty much every time. All right. Well, thanks. Now, with that said, guys, go ahead. I was just going to ask you, how do people contact you if they need to uh, reach out to you? Uh, if anyone to reach out um, at NEPD on Steemit, uh, it's probably the best way to, to find me. I'm also... Uh, on the uh, the whale shares discord quite a bit either in the uh, hair shares channel uh, or general uh, you can find me on there um, uh, those will probably be the best two ways um, I'll also link my my Twitter um, off to the left side if you want to reach me on there I'm also easiest way to, to reach me on mobile anyway thank you for everything you do and please to everybody who uh, is touched by topics like this and different things that are very valuable to the community in general. It, even a re-steam can be something very important and valuable. So consider following them. Hair shares is on, uh, the tag on on Steemit, and just going there and checking stuff out, and even re-steaming something if you don't have a whole lot to upvote. These are the types of things that you can do or share it on Twitter. Uh, you can do that right there from the interface uh, on Facebook. Share this content. This is how you amplify what we're doing and the value proposition thereof. Now, with that said, I guess we're going to be uh, stepping back and letting the, uh, the lunch host step up. Are you going to be stepping up to the plate, Sir Lunch? Very much so. Can everyone hear me? I hear you perfectly. So I was just checking down some program editing. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday morning. I am here to update you on all the craziness that I do, and that is so lunch. It's a little bit chopped up, is it? Because I'm also uploading. So is my audio coming in good, guys? All right, cool. So a uh, few things. Uh, one, I've added to the list of people or steamings that I've met from the blockchain. Uh, I already have a lot, which includes Mr. Wang, Instructor 21, 21 Extraordinary Pilot, um, adding Crypto Hippie to that list now. I met with Crypto Hippie yesterday. That was great. Got it on video. I'm going to release that vlog uh, today. Um, great news. Since the last time I talked to you guys, I've been trying to do this weird thing, you know, not a lot of people like entertainers or think there's a space for us and there isn't, not in this space at least. So I've been trying to, um, what I'm do well, I call it the reverse flash. And what I mean by that is we've always wanted YouTubers to come to our platform and, uh, give us clout or some kind of exposure. And I've always been dead set on becoming, um, Steemit's first crypto vlogger because I'm from Steemit, you know, produced by Steemit to cross over into YouTube. And I think I may have done just that. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with someone by the name of the Cryptoverse, uh, Chris Coney. Hope I said his name correctly, but I reached out to him and through the graces of the YouTube gods and the DTube gods, um, we are now in contact and we are actually going to be doing a comedy sketch together and I'm going to be doing a video interview with him. So I believe that, uh, that's going to be fruitful. You know, one of the first demons to cross over to the YouTube territory and then come back. That's going to be awesome. Um, and I have the email. So if I need to, uh, if anyone wants to get verified, you know, I can and things like that. Also, I have the YouTube chats and plus emails. Um, now with that being said, I had this great an idea that said, why don't you, so much the host, 
do something that you don't think anyone else is doing. And I was like, well, what's that? So I launched the host. And it was like, be a DTube star. I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, a DTube star. Not someone who uploads their videos to DTube and, you know, people love them, but actual um, partnership with DTube, with um, certain vloggers or people who are promoting. Um, and kind of like what YouTube does with their greatest stars, you know, and they they go out and they promote YouTube under YouTube and all that great stuff. So I figured, you know what, I'll be that guy, put myself first and petition and campaign to be a DTube star, you know, and that should work itself out. And if I add that with crossing over to the YouTube world, well, then it's looking to be very awesome for entertainers on the blockchain. Well, yeah, Nutella, everything needs to be fixed and things will be fixed in good time. And it, I still think it's in its just coming out phases, you know, so everything's going to have its kinks and whatnot. Um, now, with all that being said, I'm also uh, working with Papa Pepper. I don't know if you guys know that guy. Um, one second, smoke break. Sorry, everyone, it's been a long night editing. So I'm also working with Papa Pepper to turn his Wild Man series into a web series, um, which is going to be awesome. You guys are going to start seeing Papa Pepper's videos come out a little bit more structured. It's kind of be like the Bear Grylls plus funny of Steam It. And I'm also writing two other shows. Um, the one I talked about last week, which would be the, uh, the real world version of the blockchain. I'm going to be getting some prominent Steamians, including myself and a few others. We're going to put ourselves in a house for about two weeks to a month, and we're going to record every second of it, go back, chop it up, and then release it as a web series to the blockchain. So we'll have Papa Pepper's web series and then this real world blockchain web series. And I have my own little special show that I'm also uh, working on. And I know some of you might be thinking, well, how are you going to get all this done? Well, if you've been following my vlogs, I uh, have access to a studio down in Houston, Texas with a green room and all that great stuff. So all that greatness is coming. Now, rounding out to my travel vlogs, I am still, still, still doing the traveling because I have a quota of meeting at least 100 steamians within a year. I'm trying to make that to be like 500, but you know how hard that can get um, because I want to show people that you can travel, you can make a living off of steam and that's the best way to prove that steam is not a scam and cryptocurrency cryptocurrency isn't a scam by having living proof that not only exists in the digital world on the blockchain but also um walks amongst the normal people who don't know about cryptocurrency and i've become very adept at being able to explain cryptocurrency to people who don't know shit about cryptocurrency which is pretty awesome let's see what else did i want to talk about oh podcast is coming back of course um the vote to podcast which is going to be awesome uh season two of that is going to be hitting you guys very soon just burning the midnight oil and planning that whole shindig out and i will be going to houston texas to work with compound films and mr wang in the near future so look out for partnerships on those and beans is probably sleep or no she's somewhere i she's somewhere don't don't make trivial things out of non-trivial things. Cone, you're hurting me. <laughs> no, but um, overall, at the end of the day, it's basically what I was telling everyone before what I'm doing, and I'm doing that and much, much more. And I have a vlog coming out today, which is going to be very funny. I put on lipstick and makeup. If you want to laugh at me, this would be the time to do so. <laughs> now, as far as the uh, music is concerned, I actually just had released. It's crazy that Chief Mapster had um, talked about like a space type of um, atmosphere with music because I had just released like a three track EP with that same kind of vibe. And I'm also going to be releasing more and more music. So a lot of music. Um, I'm going to be working. I'm working on an album that's actually space um, influenced. I'll grab the link for you guys right now and take a smoke break, so one second. Smoke break, smoke break, smoke, smoke, smoke break. Smoke network. Smoke. Twerk, so baby, just twerk, to see, twerk. Just to see if anybody was actually listening. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, so those are three tracks, two or three, oh, it's three tracks that I produced, um, and I'm gonna, turn that project into a full-length album 
Um, it's going to be like 18 tracks long and it's going to come with a visual. So I'm probably going to turn it into a visual album, which is going to be a little bit of work, but Hey, I love doing the good stuff. Um, 432. Now see, here's the thing with 432, because I actually have beats in 432, but if people don't have, um, programs and right to play 432, it won't play on everything that's not playing 432. So we actually have to get people to have programs and be able to teach them how to convert music and all that good stuff. But I'm all for the, the 432 because um, the Hertz that we listen to now, if you were to point it at a bucket of water, it disrupts you know the bucket of water and it's not in anywhere in synchronicity. But if you play in 432, it's in synchronicity. And if we all know our bodies are made up of a lot of water, and you can imagine if you're putting, you know, the headphones in and the vibration, the frequencies are flowing through your body, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, 432 is best. And I will probably be working or talking to Chief Maps and reaching out to him to see how I can help him with his music venture. Um, I also encourage anyone who has a brand or anyone who has a project or anyone who just wants more exposure. Um, Paramite 432 is a, a frequency that music is supposed to be heard on not the standard that it is now. Um, I, what I was saying before is anyone who wants exposure, anyone who wants some kind of whatever, uh, reach out to me. I'm going to create um, what I'm calling the re-steaming network. I'm getting a lot of the most prominent um, steamings that I'm good friends with, and I'm going to ask them, um, if we come to a green, it's about a post, we all re-steam that post so that post can get more eyes, more views, and more things like that. Because everyone is in the business of building a well, and I love that stuff, but I, I want to be one of the first people to build a re-steaming well. That's the sole purpose for exposure and getting people the eyes and the audience. That yeah. Um, this is just real quick. Don't worry about it. We will be able to automate that for you. Nice. We have it coming. Uh, with the first token, and then I'm going to give it to you guys, and I would urge you guys to all make your own tokens too for re-steaming awesome. each other. And then let's see. Um, I'm going to revamp my vlogging classes. I have a contract with WellShares. Love you, WellShares. Be accurate to uh, empower me to empower other people to learn the ins and outs of vlogging. My first couple of classes didn't catch a lot of wind and that's fine. I didn't expect them to, it's going to be slow, but I have an echo. Hold on. Okay. There. Um, so, but I'm going to be revamping those vlogging classes, um, exponentially. I think that's the word, uh, because I believe everyone who wants to be in front of the camera or who wants to be entertaining, um, should and can and should get that opportunity and that kind of go goes hand in hand with the re-steaming well idea so if people sign up to my class um, if they get a good grade or they pass or they do their homework and maybe that week they get a free re-steam by the re-steam well and they get all that exposure um, and their homework is what is going to be re and vice versa and shout out to Bam Bam who's done some of the homework um, thank you for participating in all that great stuff um, but overall yeah the uh, project that I guess if I could sum this all to a project, it's the entertainment project. And I am just trying to bring entertainment to the forefronts with tech on the blockchain, because once all the tech is built and it's all said and done and the dust settles, we're going to need people who are entertaining with great voices and great personalities to explain all this confusing shit, because we all know nerds cannot do that shit for anything to save their lives. <laughs> Are there any questions, concerns, or anything else that anyone would like to chime in on? I just had a quick question for you, Sir Lunch. Yes, sir. You mentioned yes, sir. about um, the blockchain funding people and stuff like that. Who was it you were talking about the funding? What do you mean? about getting oh traveling funding yourself through traveling you said this is proof that you can live on steam and you can travel and all this kind of stuff one one area that seems to confuse a lot of i don't know what to call them the old school folks is that they see that people are are cashing out steam turning it into bitcoin or usd 
and then they're spending it in the form of travel or they're spending it in the form of paying somebody to, you know, do some sound editing or video editing or create something because, or even buying their own meals so that they could eat to actually do something, you know. And they see this as an exiting out point for Steam, right? And that's where a lot of this freak out comes from is going, well, this guy's taking money out of Steam and he's building things with it. Well, okay. Well, that stuff comes back though, right? Can you explain a little bit of the stuff you do, these documentary and stuff? It's all going to be posted back on Steam later, right? To bring more interesting value to Steam or I'll let you go. So basically, um, I guess we got to get into a few things, right? I, if anyone's noticed, I've been powering down for the last eight months, quote me, and I haven't dropped below 3,000 steam power. Um, now, if anyone wants to travel, they need to save for at least three months before they do this. That's the, uh, the first thing there. Um, now, what I do is I use payouts, right? At first, I use payouts, but if you're really smart with business, you go to investors, so I'll use Fuzzy as an example. And I would be like, hey, Fuzzy, um, I want to travel and I could use some Beyond Bits, you know, you come onto the show. And then and what I would do for Fuzzy is like, I have an EOS Talk sweatshirt that I wear in some of my vlogs, right? Um, so it's just little things like that that people can get extra revenue um, to keep them on the platform because a lot of people do come at me and they go, Hey, it seems like you're taking off the platform just to go do your own thing. And it's like, I do that because most of the content that I post and the rewards that I post are going back to the community. They're not really going uh, back into my pocket. So for example, if you guys go check out my wallet, um, you'll see that I don't really give to Bitrex. I don't sell my Steam or SPD. What I do is I use that with investors or I use that with other people to leverage um, getting invest getting investing or funding in that way. Um, and that keeps me on the platform. I am I am 100% a Steam It vlogger, which is why when I was talking about crossing over to YouTube and being one of the first Steam It based, you know, crypto vloggers, um, and with all that being said, and I know it was kind of chopped and all over the place, the only reason why someone would have an exit strategy and do that is because it's failing, right? So they would be the platform and they needed to survive and maybe um, jumpstart something else they're trying to do. But a real successful steam vlogger um, only takes from the platform to give back to the platform. So again, I don't take my steam and SPD and sell it to bid checks to give to myself. I use that to leverage with someone who likes to trade or with someone who um, for example, I have someone who I give a certain amount of steam to that they're holding for the next year. You know what I mean? And then we'll turn around and we'll do something with that. So it's just using your steam and SPD in different ways rather than just cashing it out. So that's what I would say. Yeah. If that answers yeah, anything, I, you're saying, I, I, anything you were saying. That answers 100% of everything I was asking you. And that's good to hear that. And I also like it how you identify yourself as being a Steemit vlogger and Steam. So you carry the Steemit brand with you while you're traveling Everywhere. and wherever you're going. Everywhere. Yeah. And so you're very much a representative. So this, this old age school thinking of, well, somebody's traveling on the funds, you know, th through Steam and that's all they see. And then and they're like, well, do you want to know what he's doing with it? And it's like, nope, that's, that's it. I don't care what he's doing. He could be, uh, Mother Teresa for all I care. The fact is that he's, it's like, stop. People have to, uh, change their way of thinking and I think hopefully with some of the work you do the music that comes out the videos that come out the blogs that come out we can kind of culture this this way of thinking so there's less animosity I congratulate you on what you're doing I think it's great and uh, I look forward to more another thing I'm going to start doing is uh, a lot of the videos that I show don't showcase the conversation I have with people like I went to comic-con uh, yesterday and um I had a whole bunch of people dressed up as different anime characters and we were talking about DTube and we're talking about Steam and we're talking about the blockchain and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of people to sign up because I gave them my number and all that stuff. And um, it's just those conversations that I need, think I need to document more for the old school so they can see that when I do go out there and I'm talking to people, like the first thing I say to people is I'm a, a professional vlogger. And they go, ah, that's bullshit. And then I go, well, because the blockchain is pretty fucking transparent and there's a website, I bring it up. And from then on, it becomes a learning experience for them. 
and them now realizing that there's other ways for them to make money and uh, do different stuff. Like a lot of the cosplayers um, want me to shoot a cosplay movie uh, documenting about how hard it is for them to make those costumes and get them perfectly and entering competitions. And some of them have invited me to fly out with them to different um, comic cons and things like that to follow them, document them and make a little web series just showcasing their community and what it is they do. And I figure, you know, I could do that while also, you know, onboarding them onto the blockchain because they don't get paid for the stuff that they do. So if they could show their processes on the blockchain and get funding for that, I mean, it just it brings more content and more value and a different type of community to the Steam and blockchain and to D2. Are there any other questions? I think Bam Bam had a question. Someone else before until the guy. Oh, yeah. When are you coming to the Pacific Northwest? <sighs> Very soon. I'll be coming to see you soon, Bam Bam. Don't worry about it. And you guys can quote me on that. Um, I'll be going to see Bam Bam. And anyone else that wants me to come out there and see him and say what's up, uh, I'm all about meeting people, seeing if we have synergy. And over the internet. But uh, I'm one of those people that will take a risk to see if we have synergy in person. And what I mean by that is we may not have synergy, but we could be great friends. Because great friends not always can work together. You know what I mean? So at that point, I just made a great friend. But then if we are great friends and we could work together, now we've just um, established something that not a lot of people establish. Um, I, again, I'm one of the few people that are actually going to say, hey, you want me to come to where you're at and hang out with you? And if you say, yeah, I'll be on a plane, I'll be out there and we'll be hanging out. Um, not a lot of people, a lot of people still want to be anonymous or have that anonymity, which is fine. But I'm all for building trust because before you can have anything on this blockchain with anyone, you need to have a certain level of trust and understanding and respect for any project or idea to move forward in a fruitful uh, manner. So I'm totally willing to put myself out there to axe well, murderers. All right, so we are a little bit over that t the, the 15 minute period. So what I'm going to go ahead and say is if you can go ahead and let everybody know how to reach out to you if they would like to work with you, man. Uh, as usual, you can reach out to me when I'm here on steamer.com at Sir Lunch the Host, on Discord at Sir Lunch the Host, and you can shoot me an email at Sir Lunch the Host at gmail.com. And like I said, if you want to get um, branded, let me know and I'll be willing to work with you guys. And thank you for your time. As always, I will say to make sure that the people who are joining these Hangouts, please make sure that if they and their work resonates with you to share their content and upvote it on steam and also consider sharing it on other social networks where you are a member of now with that said we are going to be talking a little bit with bam bam 808 next from the get smoked radio and i'll go ahead and i'll let you step up and i'll if you'll let me step back Hey, sorry, just uh, checking in with uh, Patty, actually, of Smoke Network uh, right now, seeing if he has anything he would like me to uh, discuss as far as the more technical aspects of Smoke um, and any updates, you know, on the EOS uh, platform, etc. But uh, he does not. So I will go right into the uh, Smoke radio show. Um, as uh, Let me drop the links first right off the bat here. So. If anybody wants to fill in a little bit of silence, go for it. Well, I'll tell you right now, we have, uh, I would like you to talk to my compound films because he's running the beyond Bitcoin dot club channel. And I would love to see, uh, the, the get smoked radio show on that network. Okay. Awesome. I will, uh, I got to talk to, uh, anxious and Patty, of course. Um, but, uh, I've had a little hard time reaching out with, uh, anxious stone in the last few days. And so same with Patty. So we're, uh, hoping we'll be able to get in touch with him here real, real soon. But, uh, yeah, that would be a great idea that I'll run by them. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you've talked to them as well. So, um, but yeah, same here. Uh, I've actually had a little bit of a tough time getting a hold of them the past couple of days. He has messaged me once, but I could tell that he was really busy. 
Um, and it was because there are some big people who are potentially looking at Smoke Network. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting to. I don't know, uh, you know, on on the uh, Hangout, uh, Steam Power Picks had said, hey, uh, we're really excited to hear about, you know, the uh, the technical updates. And I kind of had to stop them. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not that uh, technical guy, so to speak. I'm the, uh, the entertainer. Sure. <laughs> So, so you're talking about the Smoke Network Radio, though, right? Yes, 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 I am. Yep. Um, but as far as you know, the back end, uh, you know, the actual project of Smoke Token, uh, I don't know as much um, right now. Um, we're hoping that, like I said, we'll get in touch with Anxious. But uh, as far as the radio show, um, it's going to kind of be, you know, you're we're going to hopefully try and uh, we'll be testing as soon as we can get in touch with Anxious, but. Uh, Basically, it's going to be like any other radio show that uh, you hear um, on the radio. We're going to try and kind of model after those where, you know, there's guest speakers and, uh, you know, I'm going to have a phone that people can call in. that It'll be, you know, an open phone number that, you know, we'll get trolls and this and that, I'm sure. But it'll be a great experience to allow, you know, the viewers and the listeners to call in and, uh, you know, give their two cents or ask questions or anything like that. As far as the music that's going to be played, I'm uh, sorry, trying to keep up. Um, we're really having some issues as far as finding royalty free, um, <clears throat> but Anxious Stoner is working on that, doing what he needs to to program what we need. <laughs> uh, royalty free. <laughs> oh, royalty free. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Mapster, maybe we can talk about uh, some, uh, you know, some sort of deal or something. You know, it'd be great uh, promotion for these these artists because, uh, you know, as as uh, I have said in that post, um, <clears throat> the Facebook currently has over 500,000 uh, possible viewers and it's going to be streamed from, you know, Discord into um, Facebook. I'm not quite sure how that's going to happen with Anxious, but uh, he says it's possible and he's going to make it happen. So um, I think it's going to be a huge marketing opportunity for just about everything. Uh, you know, we're going to have ad slots that uh, in the beginning, we're just going to kind of offer to people and projects and, and this and that that we really, uh, you know, stand behind as far as, you know, feel that they're doing good things for the platform as well as for you know, tokens and, and crypto in, in general. But um, in the future, as you know, the, the show grows and whatnot, it will probably be, um, you know, more of a paid paid per slot. Um, it's kind of within the next few months, if we have, you know, an average of, let's say, 100 to, you know, 100,000, all of a sudden viewers of those 500k, uh, you know, that's, it's going to be a, a monetary uh, ad slots from them, because that's, such a large amount of viewer base not to mention that's going to be a viewer base that really probably isn't in depth in crypto uh in, in and steam it so it'll be a great opportunity to bring people from facebook over to uh you know um steam it and the platform and start you know informing the i would say the general population about crypto and you know it's not this scary thing uh you know, that people think, um, you know, speaking of that scary thing, I was talking to my, I talk to my dad about crypto all the time and, you know, he's going, oh, well, one day it could just go to zero. And it's, it's that fear that is, is what's hurting, you know, I think the crypto age right now, uh, you know, partly, but, uh, that's a whole nother discussion. So I'll let, uh, some people jump in and I'm sure there's some questions for, uh, the get smoked radio show. I know my one question. So I'll, I'll step back and let other people step up and say something if they have any. Would you want uh, maybe some beats for that music, or would you look, or are you looking more songs for the Smoke podcast? It would probably be more full songs and stuff. Um, yeah, he. I mean, as of right now, we've looked at a few different options. Uh, Monster Cat, I believe it's what it's called. So we're kind of looking for more. Uh, you know, already pre-built, um, you know, playlist type of a thing to, to just make it easy for right now, rather than having to hunt down song by song. And 
Okay. So you're gonna pay for that uh, because those sound as uh, established uh, artists. Yes, um, some of them will be. Uh, I think the Monster Cat is a really minimal fee, um, <clears throat> and there's some other ones we've looked at uh, that should, you know, uh, be good backups and whatnot. Like I said, I, I I'm kind of waiting on anxious. It's been over a week since I've spoke to him, so. Hoping that uh, he is all safe and sound and okay. I can tell you uh, that I know that he went to a coding boot camp. And that was one of the things that he was uh, going to be very busy with. Or at least that's what he told me. That that could be it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm talking to Patty right now. And uh, he had spoken to him on Wednesday. So uh, he's, you know. I don't know them extremely well. Uh, I know Anxious a lot better than I know Patty, but um, he's gonna he's gonna reach out to his girlfriend and whatnot and find out where where that sucker's at. <laughs> he can't hide for long. So um, I, want I think to I currently. Think... Uh, let's see. I'm looking at the questions. Sorry. Yeah. So it was. Um... What, what kind of music are you looking for? Uh, is it like hip hop or uh, what kind of types? It's definitely going to change per, uh, you know, as my Steam It post shows, uh, we've got kind of an idea of different, you know, fun and things for, you know, Munchy Monday and, you know, this kind of a thing. So it's going to definitely change depending on what show is going on. But I think we're kind of targeting the, uh, you know, vibey kind of, you know, EDM, but not that hardcore, you know you know, blasting shit, more the kind of, you know, a little bit more futuristic than what you'd hear on a basic radio station now as far as, you know, uh, you know, ad space, I would say. Um, you know, we're, of course, not going to be doing top 20 radio hits because nobody likes that music. Right. And uh, let's see, it's going to be a... Uh, yeah, it's going to be mainly to support Smoke Network, but there will be possible income streams in the future, Acrid, as far as, yep, you already got it, Saturday, Saturday. But, um, yeah, as far as income streams, we will be, you know, marketing products that, you know, uh, Smoke has, you know, certain things like that as far as products that, that Smoke backs and, 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 and whatnot. So there will be possible income streams, at least that's the hope, of course. But in the in the beginning, it's going to be mainly just to blast market out to these, you know, Facebook followers, the 420 smokers, uh, you know, all of those people and start getting them interested in things like Steam it and crypto and, you know, that whole that whole spiel, um, because a lot of them, I don't know if you've looked at the website there, you're, you know, your classic stoner stoner bunch. So um, I think to as especially in the United States, at least the, you know, I would say the stoner bunch is growing with each state that becomes recreational. I would say it's, uh, it's going to be more and more accepted, uh, you know, on the day to day basis. So it's something that people should, uh, for at least we're trying to market to, um, you know, because it's like, it's like crypto, uh, uh, in, in a sense, you know, weed is just becoming somewhat acceptable, you know, so. In five to ten years, much like crypto, where is that going to be? You know, it's going to be a huge industry up next to oil and, you know, all of that. So um, uh, I think we're I think trying we're... to front run on that. You bet, man. <laughs> so, yeah, we do. I mean, uh, I didn't go super in depth as far as, you know, the day the day to day uh, radio shows, because at least from what I understand, we're going to keep it, you know, fairly free flowing. Uh, there might be times since I am the only host currently, um, there's going to be some times where I may just wake up in the morning and go, Oh, you know what? I'm going to hop on real quick for 30 minutes, you know, have a little Sunday fun day and, you know, smoke with some of the people over, um, you know, the video who I'm streaming to, you know, fun. It's going to be fun and, and very serious. We're going to get into the, you know, pulling, pulling doctors and accredited, you know, uh, you know, research people and scientists onto discussing, you know, what are really the medicinal, breaking all the myths and getting through, you know, what does it really do for the people? Because everything I've seen, it's helped, you know, those videos where the kid is, is, you know, has, has 
epilepsy or something, and within 30 seconds of him snorting a little thing of whatever up his nose, he's sleeping fine, and he hasn't slept in a week. And, you know, that to me looks at, that that t tells me, how are you going to tell me that that's not helping him? You know, how is that not, uh, it's not snorting weed. They have all these little, like, you know, weird, uh, like, nasal tinctures, yeah. Oh, they have this, but, uh, they have this breeder th uh, kind of things. Um, yeah, autistic children have that. There's a, a series called The Sacred Plant. It's about cannabis and how it uh, heals and helps. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been even trying to uh, get them uh, to do uh, to work together with the Smoke Network, but they haven't uh, react, uh, replied. So I have to bug them again. That would be awesome. I'm sure uh, you know. I can't speak solely for Smoke, of course, but I'm sure they'd be they'd love to be you know uh, in contact with people like that. Uh, yeah. um, you know, and that's one thing that I'm going to really push to people because I've had uh, you know a few people reach out who said, hey, you know, this is. You know, you're you're glorifying this this thing that can hurt children and whatnot. We are not advocating, you know, the misuse and and all of that of marijuana. You know, in in the United or at least in the United States, at least where I live, it's recreational legal. I could go. I'm over 21. I can go and walk into a store. So we're not telling people, hey, you know, that that third grader to go out and find some weed and start smoking weed. You know, this is completely, you know, if it's legal where you're at, enjoy it, use it as you want. But we are not advocating the, the, the misuse and, and the underage use, especially of, of this, you know, product, uh, medicine, whatever you may want to call it. Because for some people, they enjoy smoking it and it doesn't necessarily, they don't need it, I would say. I know for myself, uh, in particular, I wouldn't say that I, you know, medically require it, but I find it extremely relaxing. Um, I look at it like there's people who get off of work and go and drink a six pack and that's what they do. Been doing it for years, nothing wrong. What's the difference from that? And I want to go home and smoke a joint. It's, if it chills me out and relaxes me, it does a lot less damage than that six pack of beer that those people are drinking every day. So. Yeah. Well, I didn't uh, have any fight being on weed, but I did have fights uh, being on alcohol. So, uh, yeah. Exactly. exactly. Nobody, uh, nobody smokes a joint and goes, let's go do something stupid and illegal. <laughs> Other than raiding. I don't know. I've known, yeah, I've known a lot of pot smokers in my life, and I don't think I've ever known of any of them that have been dangerous. They've been probably some of the lazier. I, I won't even say lazier. I would say more deep thinking and chill, which kind of makes people think they're lazy, but they're actually probably like some of the most active people when it comes to thinking about things. It's efficiency, Fuzzy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I, I will say that I think that, like I was talking with Chief Master in the chat, like a lot of our founding fathers uh, in, in America thought that hemp was going to be one of the main cash crops, if not the cash crop. I think it still could be. I mean, there could be a huge ch changeover, you know. Of course, the government so deeply set it and rooted against it, so the battle would be fucking near impossible, excuse my language. But uh, I think, exactly, the Constitution is written on hemp, you know. it's It's... It's one of those I've always felt that it will become legal across the country and possibly the world. It's just when the government can make their profit off of it, when they're ready, when they have their set up in, in to get their taxes and to get this and that, you know, it, it, it's going to happen. It's just when the government gets their quote unquote nut and is happy. When you, <laughs> when you, when you write, make this, uh, uh, this, this radio show, you should definitely consider covering uh, the fact that they can use it to create ethanol. Now, with that said, you have um, ended your 15 minutes of time here. Uh, so good. I would like to, excuse me. I just said that sounds good. Uh, and I will always uh, just remind everybody that if whenever you reach your 15 minute period, just let everybody know if you would like to extend it. That's really all it takes. Uh, if you don't want to extend it, that's fine, but just so everybody knows.
Uh, and with that said, how long do people reach out to you if, or if you're wanting to extend it? Um, I, uh, who would I send my token to if I want to extend it? Just send it, just send them to you. I'm going to start giving you guys a share drop list so I don't have to do it. Okay. okay awesome. <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, that was my thing. Okay. That's going to be about 40, uh, send transfers, but, <laughs> um, I mean, as far as, uh, reaching out, I'm, a, I'm available at, uh, you know, bam, bam, 808 on, uh, steam it chat. Uh, there's also anxious stoner on steam it chat, um, as well as anxious stoner, uh, or myself, bam, bam, 808 on, uh, discord. I think that's going to be the two major, uh, ways to reach out. Um, there is also Patty 420 who is on discord. I don't know, uh, if he's on Steam and chat, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I think I'll let it, you know, I'll let my 15 minutes be up. I could go into, you know, the possible daily schedule and whatnot, but a lot of that is up in the air and, uh, a lot of it will be, uh, you know, very free, free form, you know, it'll be changed a, a bit. So I appreciate, uh, everybody who's listening and, uh, giving me my time. We look forward to uh, discussing about having it on the Beyond Bit Network and uh, finding, you know, interesting people to come on and chat. I know uh, I've already talked to Sir Lunchbox and uh, hoping he'll be able to uh, jump on and, uh, you know, do what he does um, over the airwaves. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Perfect time to go back for my coffee. Yeah, I knew that. All right. We we need to work together real close. Uh, it's it's a small team and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a, it's a really small team right now. So uh, sounds like it's basically anxious and Patty doing quite a bit of it themselves. So I'm glad to have uh, you know glad and blessed to have stepped in and been able to help them out as far as the marketing and you know promotions and uh, you know you can have a great product but if you don't have somebody to get it out there and uh you know be the quote unquote face then it really what good does it do uh, ultimately you want faces but you have to start with something and what i've learned is it is hard to necessarily get a bunch of people to all work together at first it takes a lot of time and effort and a couple core people who ensure that uh, the people around them who are working realize that there are other people who are loyal to the idea and the work that you're doing. So it kind of it kind of makes a stickiness to have core people like that. So I'm glad that you're stepping up and trying to do something with Smoke Network. And this is where this is where we're going, guys. Like Steam is the beginning of some things, and I, I think that you're going to see a lot more stuff like Smoke. I hope so. Well, I'd hope to see it. I'd hope to see it all trade on BitShares too, right? <laughs> yeah, Just like yeah. Swipe does. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. And today we're going to be covering uh, Nutella's updates with his. Uh, what is what's the actual project name? Um, Have you guys come up with the project name? Well, uh, transcriptions and uh, translations, maybe. Yeah, it, it's uh, going to be. It, it's uh, gone more into the direction of uh, machine learning for me, and uh, Chucky is uh, mostly uh, looking at the, um, the translations and, and connecting with people. So, uh, like I said, uh, Chucky uh, was um, looking into into connecting with people and uh, being uh, being more the spokesperson uh, uh, regarding with with translations um, and I've been looking more into um, well Chucky is very interested also uh, into the um, machine learning tools which can uh, improve you know uh, our the the transcripts, but also uh, various other tools for uh, looking where we have like double spaces or, or making sentences out of unstructured text, you know, and there are all kinds of tools. I've written a whole post about it. And um, so, um, because one of the things is with the transcriptions is that the community didn't really speak out if they wanted, so, some do, but uh, 
Um, if you upload it uh, with uh, 100, 100 beyond bits, then it's still uh, the price which are which you are doing is um, is like fifty cents below. Uh, it's like fifty cents, and the lowest rate is one dollar per minute, <laughs> right? So it's like not really uh, uh, worth it. But um, because YouTube does a fairly good job. Um, we can actually just leave it like that, uh, more or less, just edit some small little things like uh, the names, the naming. And um, actually, uh, if we would have like a language model, which is um, like in machine learning speak, uh, a model of the language we speak, like BitShares and Steemit and uh, all the vocabulary, vocabulary we use, um, uh, with that, we could uh, manage uh, a lot better. But um, YouTube is just giving back uh, the words, right? So uh, you cannot do much with that. Uh, if it would be phonetic, then um, you could like search and replace because um, uh, having just the words, it's every time a little bit different because it's like a, a real um, artificial intelligence. You know, it's, it's not really intelligent, but it um, uh, it's like a stoic stochastic process, uh, which means uh, it's, it's like um, uh, it's every time a little bit different and the people's also pronounce it differently. So you cannot count on uh, it every time being uh, <laughs> like bitches or beach chairs. Uh, and that's just one example, right? So um, maybe um, uh, I'd say uh, to uh, Chucky, hey, uh, can you step up and say what has been going on on your uh, place? Because you have been had some problems with your computer, right? Yeah, actually, uh, my power cord melted into the like the laptop's uh, plug. So I don't know what I did. I guess I unplugged it badly or something, and it melted. So I was up without a computer for a few days. Um, so we've been working. Uh, with Oppenheimer, actually, um, I'm getting a project running. We're going to call it Barrier. It's going to have a coin on the chair steps. It's going to call, be called Barrier Coin, most likely, if it's not already taken. Um, what we want to do is to uh, find a way and a workflow between the translations and transcriptions as well. So um, I'm going to launch like a pre am like a pre-announcement to the to the um, to the barrier project, and uh, in this pre and I will be including that I, I need certain translators. Um, I will also be in, uh, including like the workflow of how the token would work. Um, the token would work with a gateway that I need to build. Still, the gateway w what it would do is it would let you paste the content that you need translated. And it will tell you how many of these barrier coins you, know, you need to send to which account to get your um, your content translated, right? So uh, it would also uh, show you or state um, like a spot where you would put how you want your content received, either through email, steam it, if you want if you want it DM'd in in Discord, etc. That way we can automate the process a bit more. Um, we still have a lot of work to do. The gateway isn't up yet, and I still have to find a way around it, um, work around, play with some API keys, and um, and that way we would get uh, more engagement on the translation side of things. Uh, as I stated last week, I'm still looking for that Korean and Chinese um, translator so that we can get some content in Korean and Chinese that is extremely needed right now. Um, I got a DM earlier today by East. Emails um, from peer plays, I think, uh, or I think so. That he wants to translate into Filipino as well. So, um, so yeah, yeah, oh, it's Africa actually. So um, he wants to translate into Filipino, and once we get this rolling, you know, I'll contact all these translators, and uh, um, well, we'll get this rolling. It'll be it'll be quite some work, but hey, yeah, it'll happen. Um, if, if the thing is like, it sounds really bad, but people uh, from uh, those countries, they are maybe more uh, keen into uh, doing some uh, on and off work um, because it's, yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's uh, the rate is really low. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what do you think about that, uh, um, Chucky? 
What do you mean exactly? Well, uh, we're doing the transcriptions that actually uh, we're doing it for below market price, like half market price. And But people who are in the Philippines, they might say, okay, well, that's good for me, right? Well, yeah. I mean, uh, some people will work for less uh, if that's what you're trying to get to. Um, yeah. Yeah, some people will definitely work for less. Um, the idea is to give the right value and right price to this um, to to each translation and each translator and each transcriber as well. Because let's say you want your project translated, uh, you want you posted on Steemit a brand new project that you just released, and you want it uh, to reach out to the Spanish, the Korean, the Philippine, and all these different communities. Um, there would need to be a translator for each one of those languages, and the translator needs to get paid for the work they do pretty much. Um, I want to automate this process through Barrier and through this gateway so it would give us uh, like a standard on what the correct price for each one of these uh, these jobs done is. Well, I think also we need to cooperate with uh, people like Smoke Network and let them more market our ideas in, in this regard um so that they can give their own coins to those people as well because they might be worth something it's not real fair but on the other hand um i cannot promise you know any like much value because uh, if i ask you all guys uh do you rather like to uh listen or do you also like to read along and how much are you willing to pay for it right so uh, I, i'd be really interested in hearing a response from you guys the listeners right now. And yes, Crazy Christo, we accept the whale shares. We accept hair shares, whale shares, voice shares, <laughs> anything. Well, uh, anyway, um, we have some good updates, of course. Uh, real cool. Um, Actually, it's too bad. Oh, Alex is here. Great. Um, so if he's, if Alex is here, um, if he wants to talk, he can talk. Um, but uh, I just say that uh, he found out how to um, do the um, uh, editing of the whale tank talks and all the, the podcasting uh, with the, the, the multi-tracks from Mumble. So, uh, Alex, are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Um, I was just going to say they could check out your post uh, where I walked you through the process that you posted on YouTube there. It gives a bit of an overview how to do the uh, pre-editing for multi-track uh, editing where you can you know, just cut any artifacts across all tracks at once and it just kind of makes it a lot easier and uh, you do that one through and clean up all the... Uh, you know the the crap and all the ums and the huffs and the puffs and everything else and you end up with a much cleaner uh captioning afterwards and and such and uh, i'll put it back to you if you've uh done any work and if it's helped at all so far uh, i haven't uh, used it yet because um i was actually i was um expecting some uh, content from uh, by compound films, but he had a crash, and uh, so. Uh, but still, uh, he he didn't react, so it was a bit, uh, you know. I was like, okay, it's a lot of work, so uh, I'll see. I'll see. Uh, I'm trying. I will um, use it for the BitShares hangout, I think, because in my opinion, BitShares are uh, quite uh, like technically difficult for most people. So I think that that's maybe like. Uh, the one uh, thing which is valued more, let's say, I, I don't know, it's like, uh, ah, bitch, is a great one. <laughs> yeah, so maybe if you want to talk, Fuzzy, uh, go ahead. I don't know how how possible it is to get it voted in, but I would love to see things like a worker proposal for something like this. Okay, that's great. Where, where bit shares were actually paid to do that service and then you guys used it to buy back your tokens i think something like that would be excellent now would the work proposal get through i don't know but if you guys want to uh create a um a google poll or something uh to to figure it out or, or a worker proposal we can 
create a poll to kind of test to see what the community thinks about. Yeah, that would be uh, excellent, I think, because um, as you know, the community has been pretty mum on, on the idea, so that's okay. I mean, uh, the work, uh, I'll admit that the work is interesting to do if you're working with an interesting project, um, like the 15 minutes is doable. And, uh, but you know, if it gets like a lot, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot of work and, uh, you know, I'm not really fond and keen on it and I can better, uh, spend my, my knowledge and time on, on more difficult stuff than this. So, you know, uh, one plus one is two. So I, I figured like, okay, you know, if there's not much interest then maybe some high profile things, okay, we'll do that. But, uh. Yeah, uh, bit shares is much more, I think, in need of something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, I love the idea. Personally. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, uh, I would like to uh, say that um, Alex came, came with this uh, uh, Jitsu, Jitsi server. And, uh, you know, we, you were talking about... Um, the tutorials and stuff and i just like recorded it and it, the video is pretty bad like that's my my fault uh because i i just like went ahead I, i'm a, i'm a little bit uh quick in those things you know I, I just do it and i don't ask and i'm apologizing to you alex uh for that because that was not like really right but i was like in a rush uh trying to get it all on steam it and uh and uh and have it published and, and get rid of it because it was so much information uh, so, uh, I just quickly posted it there, but I, I do want to mention it was, uh, really cool that, um, Alex, uh, found, uh, this, this method. He, he never used it, but I know he edited some videos, uh, before and, uh, it's pretty cool. And, uh, I, just, you know, recorded it, sent it to Steam Powerpix, but I forgot to record my own voice, uh, to edit. It was a bit technical and, and haphazard. Um, so, um, but, uh, I think, uh, it's uh, yeah uh, steam powerpix saw it so he can now use uh or leverage the, the benefits of, of the multiple tracks and uh if i have this clean format the multiple tracks we can just put it through youtube one one by one or you can do uh, actually all at the same time but you have to edit them one by one i think or something and then uh yeah we'll have some some clean tr cleaner transcripts uh with less work right And, uh, I'm glad to hear that this is something that you guys are figuring out because I know that this was one of the things that you were having troubles with as far as like it takes a lot of time to edit stuff and transcriptions are even going to take longer. Uh, so whenever you can cut that down and automate the majority of it, that's a huge deal. Yeah, I think in the future uh, we would like to have it like really cool, but uh, right now it's um, it's like trying and testing and because you know people were mum <laughs> about it i was like okay let's move on and move on to better things uh, and just leave it on the back burner a bit uh but we're you know it, it's pretty like alex uh his method is pretty cool you know it's it's working and it's practical and he's very right about that it's just i have to add that um i was really hoping to have like uh our own neural network uh trained with the help of Gridcoin or, or somebody and uh you know and and have a lang language model which like uh, that it would be not 95 percent but uh, really spot on you know and that it would be virtually no work with uh with the multi-tracks you see everybody uh talking you know uh and, and you don't have to listen to separate them the sentences get more clear because if, the, if they're interleaved right and it makes like a mess and uh yeah this way it's it's much it's much better and and alex has written an excellent program to merge all those uh those subtitles and uh, and have something clean out of it but um for me um uh, you know doing all this work maybe it's better uh, i figured to uh, add chapters you know uh, we're working with bicon films with the live stream and then later uh, editing it editing it or i lastly did um this whole transcript, uh, just by copy pasting it from YouTube and going it by hand to hand, which is really terrible. Uh, I never, I'm never going to do that again, but, um, uh, I added some links, you know, with the timing. So, uh, 
uh, you know where uh, things are in the timeline because it's if it's an hour talk you know you talked about the the, ver the vtc corn and verticoin and and you talked about uh vitalik and 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 then you know talking together and explaining uh, right you remember that fuzzy right sure do so if people can jump to that that's i think much better i know yeah i love that aspect like where you can actually have it like it's a link and you can watch just that specific part yeah it's very easy to do you just add the, the time code after the url to youtube right so and, and you can put it in youtube as well in the description but most of it is uh, is due to uh you know um i can know all this stuff but people are you know by compound was like oh so it, it it names all the files you know each speaker is named you know and, and i was like yeah dude i'm trying to tell that to you for a month but it's like okay uh people are slow to pick it up you know if they see it themselves then they're like oh i get what you mean <laughs> right so maybe maybe in the future uh, there will be more de demand in the transcriptions but uh but for now i'm i'm pretty like happy looking at the possibilities of uh, of having like these things automated and, and there's a lot of stuff which you can read in my latest post i should post it here actually and uh yeah okay great so uh yeah Telegram. Yeah, I have to uh, install Telegram still. So uh, <laughs> support with your rate. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> big well. So um, right. So uh, there are some stuff, um, uh, useful stuff uh, in machine learning. It's all in one post. I will post it soon. Um, and one is like it's a beautifier. You can see if you added too much spaces or. You're adding some funky grammar or f funky stuff you're saying. And uh, there are uh, things like uh, for the audio part that, that's pretty like in, in progress. Um, but, um, you know, we have Audacity and maybe Chucky, you know, uh, ah, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that last part. Well, um, um maybe you know uh maybe you know more about adding adding some stuff uh what i was trying to say because i'm i'm a bit lost on uh on what what else i i, I discovered on my machine learning uh, um adventures shall i say <laughs> so i'm going to check it out and maybe you have in the meantime you can say so, some some updates or some stuff well, sure. I mean, our time is almost done, but since Fuzzy is a good Fuzzy and gave us a few minutes because he missed us, um, yeah, I, I wanted to say that um, I'll be creating some sort of marketing group for the um, uh, for BitShares in general as well, and I will include Barrier into this as well, uh, somehow to create synergy between the marketing uh, for Barrier and for BitShares in total. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say except that uh, Fuzzy is a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, um, so, okay, to just update, I have the post uh, in front of me. So I really wanted to um, use a detector for the ums and like the, the silent spaces. So I've been like stubbornly uh, working on that. So I posted that in that link. And of course we have the, you know, the, the punctuator which Alex found, I have it too there. Um, we could like later use uh, some API of uh, YouTube uh, to do it more quick, but it's not really relevant right now. And I talked about Proslint, which is like a checker who can like uh, not beautify, but let you know if your post uh, is, is nice, right? So uh, if there's inconsistent spacing, you know, two more spaces or chat speak or uh some redundancy uh, you know and uh, and that all and oh yeah the most important thing i forgot of course um there's a there's maybe uh use in summarizing post um especially maybe for build a whale and that kind of like creation things um so uh, there's some machine learning in there too so I'm, i'll be focusing on that because uh you know there's so much information and to be able to summarize it and then maybe read it all you know, but first know what you're getting into is, is uh, would be a great help as, as well. So with that, uh, I'd said what I wanted and maybe Alex or Chucky uh, or our time's up, I think anyway. So that that's it for us, I think. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, it's open 
any questions? Anyone wants to ask anything? Uh, give some feedback. You know, it's all greatly appreciated. Yeah, and you can catch in, uh, ch catch us on Discord anytime. So uh, feel free to uh, to nag us there. Well, thank you very much, man. And I appreciate all the way that you guys are doing. I think it's very valuable, especially as you increase the your capacity to translate. Because one of the big things in cryptocurrency is that you don't necessarily always have the best team across all different languages. So something like that as a service, I think, would be extremely valuable and could make a token worth something quite important. Now, with that said, I do appreciate you guys having patience with me today. There are certain little things that I think need to be improved, and I'm thinking about that stuff. but. Uh, I do appreciate everything that you guys are all doing. This is something valuable to the space. I urge you all to consider working together in any ways that you can, leveraging the networks you have if you have a similar vision. And I, I assume that a lot of the people who come here have a similar vision. They could be out doing other things, but you guys come here. So with that said, if you find other people with a similar vision and who are doing something cool in the ecosystem, and that's Steam and other cryptocurrencies, feel free to offer for them to come on. This is the place where we're trying to help support those projects. And so with that uh, said, it has been very see you guys next Saturday. You've been listening to the Beyond Bitcoin Welcome. As a reminder, be sure to follow the Beyond Bitcoin tag on Steemit, as well as our Hangout host, Official Fuzzy, for the latest Welcome updates. From all of us here at the Beyond Bitcoin Welcome, we want to thank you for being a part of the discussion.